You must like hanging out in dark zones, is that it, Aiden? What took you so long? Next time, you go. I knew it was a fucked up idea to come here. I got something for you. Thanks for what you did for my boys. I, I know you really tried to help them. Who is this? A proximity tool. The GRE tagged more important goods with special RF markers. This might come in handy. Once all the antennas are working, you can use it to detect important containers and stuff. Lord knows what's waiting for us once we actually get to the roof. But you won't be alone. You'll have my men with you. And Lieutenant Rowe himself. Are you coming? I've had enough of leading from the back and hearing my people die. All right, let's go then. We're waiting for Matt. He's bringing the transmitter, and he'll oversee the operation from here. So, you have some time for a nap, or to take a dump. Just somewhere outside the camp, pretty please. Hey, are you crying? Mind if I join you? Be our guest. How are you feeling about the mission, Aiden? Well, we made it this far, didn't we? We'll see it through. Or die trying, right? <laughs> so, so, what are you looking forward to after this is over? My wife, Marsha. Our child is due any day now. I'm over the moon. And we've been trying for a long time to have a kid. And it seems finally I did something right. See? I told you somebody needs to come over and give you some help. <laughs> <laughs> Bro sure is a hard ass. Of course he is. You know his story, right? You've seen the burns on his face and neck. I was there when he barged into a burning dark zone just to pull out one private. Yeah, the guy can be harsh, but not a lot of people will lay it on the line like he has. Damn right. Can you tell me anything else about Ro? When he and Matt had a major falling out? Yeah, it was hell. Squad 101 had orders to take over the old city warehouse. Thought it was empty until they went inside. They turned on their flashlights and looked up. The ceiling was weird covered with clumps of rags. And then, the rags jumped down. They were a fucking scary breed of infected clinging to the roofs and walls. Hundreds of them. God, you could hear the boys screams for miles. Fuck, imagine that. They radioed command, but the orders were to hold the position. They didn't, they ran away, at least those who could. Afterwards, Jack ordered their executions. They were deserters. But Roe defied Jack. Said that sending them there was a mistake in the first place. We thought Jack would have Roe shot for insubordination. Sure did. Okay. Time to get some shut eye. Just a moment, gents. Special treat for the night. Well, you rock, Lieutenant. Here's to our fallen comrades. To the fallen. And pretty ladies. Why do you want to exclude your wife? <laughs> <laughs> Hang it in there, guys. We are, Lieutenant. We've been through worse, right? Remember the volatiles in the old port? Well, that was a carnage. It was, and we pulled through. We'll have another good story to tell our families. Am I right? You are, sir. Something's bothering me, Aiden. The renegades. And what about them? They're everywhere. Spreading in the city like cockroaches. But here, the biggest antenna in the city, strategic place, and no renegades at all. Ah, it's not like anything else they're doing makes sense. Good point. First, someone turned on the electricity. No idea why. And then, when I questioned the renegade officer, 
He babbled something about GRE facilities they're trying to locate. Didn't make much sense if you ask me. X-13 or something like that. But I'm worried what they're planning. X-13? I've, I've heard about that place before. Oh, yeah? What did you hear? I know that Waltz is hunting for it as well. Any idea where it could be? Well, if it's real, it could be a GRE complex. Top secret. Well hidden. But once we're done with this motherfucker, maybe we figure out what it is and find it first. But for now, get some beauty sleep. Infected like us more when we're rested. That was a nice tune you played. Let's hear some more. Yo, Sleeping Beauty! Aiden! The head honcho is here, let's roll! Your map brought the transmitter? Safe in my pocket, boy. You expect us all to fit in here? A little snug, ain't it? Whose fingers in my... Aiden, you're doing great so far. Yeah, we're trying, right, Ro? I've got good news for you. I've received intel on a certain GRE doctor. Who is it? Where? I still need time. Let's finish our job here first. You and the squad will go to the top of the tower and mount the transmitter. Ro will be with me down below. I'm going too. Ro, this again? Really? We have a plan. Fuck the plan. We don't know what's up there. I'm not sending my men up there alone. Fuck the plan? Not losing my squad again. You know I have to go. <sighs> Just fucking come back. Understood? Yes, sir. If you need anything, you can reach me over the radio. I'm fine. Get to work. Sir, you all right? Go already. want to hear a joke? No, where's Bowski? Fuck, please. Oh, I'm begging you. I'll give you my last clean pair of undies if you spare us another one of your jokes. Keep calm, gentlemen. Oh. Where's Bowski? Fuck. Sorry, boss. Won't say it, Pete. You're off key, dumbass. It went like this. Whoa. Commander, sir, what's going on? Elevator stopped. The power's unstable again. It's a huge building. We're on it. All right, boys. The repairs will take some time. We can't wait. It's footwork from here. What floor are you on? 30. So you got another 50 to the roof. Right, boys. You heard the commander. Open her up. Let's get hiking. Where's Bowski? Recon. Careful, Wisbowski. Looks clear. Wisbowski! <laughs> 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 